Hello everybody, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another episode of me trying to make tag sets for every single horse in my inventory. Now right now we are riding Button from my last episode and then we also made Sweetie here last time as well. So if you missed that one, you can go and check out me making these two tag sets. But now we are in for another run. Now, um, what tag set should we do? I have quite a few accessories that we could do. It's very, it's actually quite difficult picking out tack for your horses. Like, it's a lot harder than it looks. Like, because you want it to match, right? And you want it to really fit whatever horse that you are making a tack set for. I think I'll go with the baby blue because I think I have quite a few of those accessories. Yeah, I do. So we got the saddle pad already. Tail bow, bell boots. Okay, yeah, I think we'll go with the baby blue. I think that would look cute. And then now we just got to find the right horse. It's so hard picking things, you guys. Would this one look nice? This grayish color? I actually think that might look kind of cute. Or let me just look at my options because we can't if we just pick one and then I want to change my mind then that's going to be a problem. I could also do this guy here. That might be nice. Wait, is my blue one a mare? Yeah, it's a mare. I might want to do like a um a stallion though cuz I feel like the blue would look nice with that. And then I could name him, like, Blue or something. But I could also do a girl and name her Blueberry. Or I could do... I feel like this coat's very lovely. I might, I could honestly do a different tack set with this coat. Here, I think we're going to go with the other horse that I was thinking of. We'll go with this guy. Um, And then let's go ahead and equip all of our blue tack. Baby Blue, here we go. And... Should I do the mouth rose or the mouth jolly ball? So the rose, the rose looks like that. That's kind of cute, but then this is cute too. Oh, guys, it's so hard to pick things. Oops, I accidentally picked him up. Sorry about that, buddy. I think that will go with the jolly ball. I don't think I've used any of the jolly ball accessories for my horses. I've definitely got some, but I just don't think I've used them. So I think now is a good chance to use that. Here, I'm going to go check and see if I have any blue dyes in my storage. Um, although his natural uh, gray mane is pretty gorgeous. I wish that you could like see how the dyes would look before you use it. Because I don't want to waste them because I wouldn't have dyes anymore. Yeah, I think we'll keep it as this, and then we gotta give this guy some some bond, so we'll just feed him a golden apple. Perfect, and we need to craft some polo wraps for his set. The baby blue craft. Here we go. Okay, that's cute. Come over here. I keep forgetting that I can't lead him, because he's an independent horse. Um, well, you can lead them, I just need to craft a bridle. Okay, speaking of crafting that war that's what we're gonna do so saddles i think we want to do probably i feel like a white would look nice but also we could do like a gray here we're gonna we're gonna grab the all-purpose what colors could we do is there even gray yeah there is gray i feel like the gray might look nice because his color is gray and then for tear, we could do silver. I feel like that might look kind of good. Is there like a lighter gray? So I feel like this gray is kind of dark. Here, we'll craft it. Actually, no. Uh, I don't know about that. Here, I think let's try crafting a different one. Would the black pearl look nice? Ugh, I don't like that one either. Guys, the struggle. I'm just wait, casually wasting all my materials. Here, we'll go with the gray. I think we'll just go with that one. Um, So for this, I think we're going to just go with the regular English bridle. And then tier, we want silver. And then color, we want gray. Should I have just given him a gray tack set? I feel like this isn't looking right now. Yeah, we're going to entirely change his tack set to all gray. We're making a change here, guys. I made a mistake, and this is this is not good. Okay, guys, I came to a solution. I realized that my horse Wisteria had some dark gray plaid tack, um, so I just took it off of her, and we'll make her a new tack set later. 
Wisteria is this horse here, if you guys didn't know. But anyway, she had on some tack that I think would fit this horse better. So that's what we're doing. We are saving it. I was actually considering just scrapping the clips that I had and just restarting on this video. But we are good now. We're good. See, this looks kind of cool. He's, it's like all gray. It's kind of like, that, that looks actually pretty cool. I like that. We're not going to give him a head bow. But we will give him a tail ribbon. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. What in the world was I thinking with the blue? I don't even know. I couldn't tell you. Okay, we got some of these. Here we go. Should we give him ski poles? I mean, I have them. Nah, that doesn't look right. Mouth, I have Wisteria's watering can that she was holding, but honestly, mm, yeah, I don't really like that. We'll take that off. Aura, this smoke aura might kind of look cool. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this. We'll name him Smokey. That's perfect. Yay. Okay, I'm so glad that this actually worked out. This guy actually looks pretty cool. So we will go ahead and lock him. There we go. And we've got our first tack set completed. We had a lot of trial and error, but this guy turned out pretty cool. I actually really like this. Okay, next up, we need to pick out new tack. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with a red tack set this time. And then definitely if I do red, I'm going to want a darker colored horse because I think that that would look cool. So we've got this Bay Akultecki, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's not, I feel like, I, that's like brighter than I thought it was. I thought it was a darker color. I could do this Liver Chestnut Frisian. That might look good with red. Yeah, I actually do think that we are going to go with the Liver Chestnut, and we're going to do the red. So here we go, red. And let's equip this, and this, and this. And then, this is bright red. That's not the color that we're going for. Um, what else should we add? I have this pretty red rose. My sister had two of them, and I'm like, I need one of those. I needed the red rose. I think that that looks pretty cute. And then, of course, we need to craft a saddle pad. I think we'll make an English one again. So let's go ahead and find red. There we go. Got a red. And then we need some polo wraps as well. There we go. All good. And oh, you know what would have been good? If we had like that gold black mane. Here, let me show you what mane color I'm talking about. Like this colored mane on a darker horse. On like that horse. Wait, let me breed real quick. And then I could name the horse, like, Goldilocks, like, with the red. Like, how cute would that be? Here, we're just going to breed real quick. I know that this isn't a breeding video, but let's just see if we can get what I want. Oh, man. We didn't. Okay, that was sad. Okay, let's continue. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a tail clamshell. Does that match? I mean, it is red. And we don't have anything for the tail, so I think that will go with it, because why not? Okay, this looks pretty good. And then we'll lock that. And then I think we'll name this girl Red Riding Hood, because why not? Okay, so this is Red Riding Hood. Let me see if I have any cool dyes that would look good with that, like if I had like a brown one. Oh, wait, no, I have Deer Fade. You guys, this actually might look really cute. Let's go with the mane. Oh, I like this. Guys, look at how cute this is. This is Red Riding Hood, our horse, and she is stunning. Now we need to craft her her saddle and her bridle. So for saddles, I think I'm going to go with another all-purpose one. And then color-wise, I think we're just going to go with a plain black one. I think that would look pretty good. Actually, a light brown might look nice with this. Uh, it's so hard picking here. Would obsidian look good? I think we'll do like an obsidian tier and then light brown to match with like her hair. Actually, that light brown does not match. I thought it would. Why doesn't it match? Um, let's pick a different color. 
I think we'll just stick with the regular black that we were doing. Would copper tear look nice? I feel like if I try to do a fancy tear that it's not going to turn out well. Would gold? I might do ruby. Or maybe I'll just do both of them obsidian. I mean, moonstone would look nice, but I don't have any on me right now. Which I probably, I still need to get moonstone. I have like not stocked up on moonstone in like forever. I've just had like no moonstone. Would the regular brown look good? Or the dark brown? The dark brown might look nice. Here, we're wasting more obsidian. Does that look nice? Um, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's acceptable. Like, I don't want to do black because I feel like that's just like too dark. So I think we'll go with this. And then to go along with that, we of course need a bridle. So I think we will do, would a jumping bridle look cool? We might just, I think I'll just do a regular English one again. So obsidian, dark brown. There we go. And there we go. Red Riding Hood has been completed. This is her lovely, lovely tack set. Hey guys, so this is me after recording. But because her name was Red Riding Hood, I remembered that I had a Valentine's basket. And you know how Red Riding Hood, like, carries a basket to her grandma's house? Well, I thought that this would be so cute. So yeah, that's just a little update on the an accessory that I put on her. Okay, time to make another tack set. And here we go. Guys, honestly, I think I'll try doing a baby blue one again. I know the beginning one did not work out, but I think we're going to do a new one. Let's see what horse is. This horse could look cool with it. That one could look cool. But so could this one. Oh, this one would look actually so good with that. Why didn't I find this horse before? Oh my goodness, that would look actually so good. Okay, I equipped those, and now it's a question of whether we do the rose or not. Because I like both of them. I like the jolly ball and I like the rose. I kind of like the rose more, though. But then, what? because I, I was saving the jolly ball to do a blue one. I feel like in this, with this, with the aqua techie, I feel like the rose looks better. But then, because it has a grumpy personality, and I feel like it wouldn't want a jolly ball if it was grumpy. I don't know why, but I just, that's just, yeah. So we're going to go with this. And then, honestly, this guy might look good with some dye. Like, the other, my other horse, um, Smokey, did not look good with dye. But I think, like, I'm glad that I did not dye his. But I think that this one would look good with pastel blue. So we're going to try it. Oh yeah, okay, that actually, mm, it doesn't match perfectly, but it's also not too bad. And we already used one of them, and now we have an uneven number, so like, what's even the point? So we're just going to do the tail as well. Okay, actually this looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And then, of course, we need the tack. And then for this one, the white would definitely look great. Why didn't I see this horse before? I don't know. I actually think we're going to do a jumping horse for this one. So, tier, we're going to do... Diamond doesn't match. Sapphire might match. But I feel like silver would probably look the best. Oh no, we're out of leather. We gotta run to Larry real quick. Oh, this guy has a lot of stamina and I didn't even... Oh, he has max stamina. I didn't even train him at all. That's sweet. Okay, here we are getting our leather. I think I'll buy 100 because I'll probably need more in the future. Wait, do I have, like, a blue vehicle that I could use? Because if we're doing... No, I don't have a blue vehicle. I mean, I have this ghost stagecoach. No, nah, we're not going to do that. So, time to continue our crafting. We were going to do the jumping tier. We're going to do silver color. We're going to do white craft. There we go. Okay, here we'll jump off. When it's morning in game, the sun makes my horses look kind of weird. So whenever it gets like sunny, I'll like go to a shading a shady spot. And then we'll do the jumping bridle as well. Silver and white. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, this looks nice. This looks pretty nice. Okay, so what should I name this guy? Should I name him Blue? I know that's a very that name is so creative, you know? We totally just didn't do a whole blue tack set. 
so but you know what it's okay we're just gonna name him blue i might change it in the future but for now this guy is blue um so yeah that is my horses and those are the horses that i made so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, I will probably make episode 3 of this sometime soon. Our horses are slowly being being loved. Wait, does this guy? Oh yeah, he has 105. Um, our horses are slowly being loved. This series is probably going to be kind of long since I have a lot of horses and can only get through like 2 to 3 each episode, but we will try. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.